Hello and welcome to this video blog of the top five um, Senate topics that were discussed at the September 4th meeting of Academic Senate. The top um, discussion was on the um, future Academic Senate composition. This was one of the major projects for Senate to identify and clarify its function and its purpose and together with the purpose also whether we have the right composition of Senate. Um, we have had a number of um, discussions at Senate on this already and a working party was um, developing some principles for Senate um, and these principles considered the size and agility of Senate, the balance between ex officio management uh, members of Senate and representational positions, elected members from the faculties and also a need for um, greater inclusiveness and a reduction of overlap between Senate, Senate committees and Senate working parties. We held an informal workshop for Senators to provide feedback and ideas. We also received submissions by email and, and, and went out to speak to colleagues, either chairs of Senate or former chairs of Senate, um, to gain an external perspective on this question and following a very lengthy debate at Senate and uh, we uh, may we are proposing a number of changes which includes a reduction in the ex officio members of academic Senate uh, particularly limiting the numbers of deputy vice chancellors and pro vice chancellors on Senate and corresponding to that also a decrease in the number of elected members in order to maintain that balance between ex officio management and elected members. And these reductions, overall reductions, allows us greater agility in Senate. For example, uh, the ability to co-opt members onto Senate that uh, we require for particular expertise for a particular period of time uh, for a um, a project, for example, but also uh, it allows us to co-op members for um, purposes of inclusion and representation. Um, we also decided to um, change an ex officio position for the head of Department of Indigenous Studies to be replaced by an e elected uh, position for Indigenous academic staff members. Um, Senate has now endorsed these changes to its composition and together with the Senate purpose statement, uh, this will now go to Council for approval. Topic number two of the September 4th Senate meeting was an update on the Great Appeals Policy Review. Uh, Mitch Purcell uh, talked us through the policy and the main changes he outlined was a move from appeal of final grades only to the ability of students to appeal individual grades, um, a reduction in the deadline of submissions from 20 working days to 10 working days so that actions can be taken in good time, and also condensing the grounds for appeal from five grounds to three grounds to reduce for greater clarity and to reduce overlap. Um, the discussion at Senate was that these changes to review individual assessment will uh, bring with it a significant uh, change in the current practice. Uh, the um, assessment, the Great Appeal Policy will come back to Senate for formal approval at a next meeting. Topic number three was an update on the curriculum architecture, the PVC programs and pathways from broadly broadly updated Senate on where the project is at and from now on it will become a standing item on the agenda for the next meeting until it is resolved. Um, there was um, at September 4 we have just moved into the um, phase where faculties are starting to submit their uh, courses in the new architecture and um, as the courses are progressing each week, um, information will be published through um, the curriculum architecture updates on tech um, and also uh, through communication with the faculty curriculum architecture implementation groups. Um, we had a question about uh, student facing communication about this change in curriculum and we will provide an update on this at the next Senate meeting on in October 24th. 
Topic number four was establishing the 2019 Senate project and we discussed an approach on how to establish those. Um, obviously there are some projects that are rolling over from 2018 that we weren't able to finish in 2018 but we also invited senators to speak to their colleagues in their department and offices to come uh, back with ideas for additional projects. We also planned a workshop for senators to discuss um, additional projects for 2019 and are working with governance services to identify policies that require review and update uh, and how they these policies fit in with our Senate um, with our Senate projects. At the November Senate meeting we will approve the project for 2019 and start moving forward with them early next year. And finally was my report to my uh, verbal report to Senate um, giving an update on the most recent council meeting. I provided council with a report on the purpose and composition of Senate but also on the curriculum architecture and finally council approved the recommendation from Academic Senate to award Professor Tony Cousins the title of Emeritus Pro Professor. I also informed the senators that we are planning additional Senate meetings um, in order to facilitate the curriculum architecture project and we are working with ASQC and the faculties on timing those additional meetings. And finally, in October towards the end of the year there will be a new Senate election and um, I invite all staff to consider um, running for election at Senate. Um, and um, if you have any questions about this or you want to find out more about Senate and what it means to be a senator, please feel free to contact me uh, via the email below. Our next Senate meeting is on October 24th, starting at 9.30. As always, Senate is open to all staff and students to observe, so just please contact uh, the Senate email if you intend to um, attend. And that's it for me today. Thank you very much and I'll update you after the October meeting. Bye-bye.